doing here today? Uh, thanks, uh, Mashaku and your viewers. Uh, what happened here today is that there was uh, a group of uh, cash in transit heist uh, criminals that over time they planned this uh, CIT for today and uh, they are quite integrated uh, because there's criminals from Malanga, there's criminals from Haute, there's criminals from Limpopo. Uh, so they planned to do a cash heist and uh, we have intelligence, we had intelligence, so it was an intelligence-led operation. Uh, our intention was to arrest them before they go out to commit the crime, because this is a safe house, the second house from here. They were housed with the palm trees, so that's where they were doing all the plannings, where the planning was happening. So the police members approached the house with a view to uh, arrest them and in the process they shot at the police. The shooting lasted for about 90 minutes uh, with, uh, uh, from the house they were shooting. Even the house opposite on the street has been shot. So in the engagement uh, 18 of them uh, were shot dead and uh, one police officer has been injured very seriously. Uh, he has been taken for medical treatment. So that's how this operation was. Members of SAPS that were involved uh, is the DPCI, uh, various components of the DPCI, and uh, your crime intelligence, uh, your TRT, your special task force, they were part of this operation for quite some days. And how long have um, you know they been tracking these criminals? Because I did hear you saying that the intention was to apprehend them before they could go out and commit those um, CITs. The investigation obviously comes a long way, as far as you can say, uh, January. But uh, the tracking was uh, for more than three days, uh, where they have been tracked. They brought a lot of firearms. Uh, amongst them there, there is, uh, there is uh, 16 uh, men, two women, a lot of firearms. But uh, as the crime scene experts combed the scene, we'll be able to know exactly how many firearms are there. But uh, we have seen that there's, a, there's firearms outside. I saw one guy lying with a firearm uh, still there. So there were also primed explosive that was ready to be used because they wanted to hit uh, one of the uh, cash depots in the province of Limpopo. So that's how determined they were. The house apparently belongs to a Zimbabwean that uh, married uh, locally that is staying here. So we. Uh, yeah, those are the details. And would you say, I mean, you're winning the war against the CITs. We have been seeing quite a lot of them happening within, you know, this municipality as well as in the Vembe region as well. Yeah, uh, we still hunting those that uh, have uh, done the CIT and caused the roads to be and to, to be closed for ten hours in the Eastern Cape. We are on track to know who we are looking for. Soon we'll also round them off. But uh, with this uh, breakthrough, I think uh, we have done a dent and we will carry on uh, looking for others. Also, there is uh, a second crime scene, which is at uh, Toando, which I forgot to say. There is a same house in Toando, which while we were busy here, some members uh, attended to the same house in Toando, where we arrested uh, four suspects and uh, also four vehicles <coughs> were found at the scene. The plan was, whatever they have done, when they've taken cash, they'll go to the second safe house and there they will then transport uh, the money uh, through to other provinces. And unfortunately, they were going to use an ambulance to transport the money. Do you have an idea where, where this money was being channeled to? I mean, you talk about how they're transporting it, they're moving it out of this province to other provinces. They will be moving it to Gauteng with an ambulance and normally I mean, an ambulance with red lights and sirens uh, always is given free right of way, but that's what they use it for. And just one last question for clarity. You spoke about two females and one um, 14 males. Were they also part 16 of males. 16 males yes. um, and two females? So were they also part of this uh, gang or this uh, these suspects? That will still establish. Uh, we don't know, but uh, they were part of the fight, the war that was coming from that house. As I said, 
this uh, shooting lasted for 90 minutes. So it was a real war. So I'd like to thank the members of the SAPS for the dedication they have done. Uh, we are not without casualties, as I said. One member was seriously injured his leg. He has been taken to theater. Uh, currently, they see what they can do. But uh, we are very grateful that uh, uh, we have an experience uh, casualties. Thank you so much, uh, General Masamula.